Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video of brain food, I'm actually doing a bit of a winter warmer. I know it's pretty warm in Australia, but this is a really beautiful drink to make if you guys live overseas where it's getting quite chilly and it's winter, or even if you want to have something nice and warm to start your mornings off, because I typically start my mornings with a hot cup of tea, regardless of the time of the year. So I've actually made myself this drink this morning and also earlier this week too, so it's really nice. It is a pumpkin spice latte and it's really easy to make but it's really delicious and really really healthy so because we're adding quite a few different spices it's got a lot of antioxidants and it's also got some different anti-inflammatory agents too to keep you healthy especially when it's flu season coming around the corner for some of you guys all right so let's get straight into it i've got a pan here so i'm going to pour all the ingredients in and then i'm going to stir it over the stove on a low flame till it's nice and hot and then I will pour it into my beautiful, my hug mug. I love my hug mugs, they're so cute and they're so nice to hold, hence hug mug. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to pour one really full glass of milk into the pot. Now I'm using rice milk, but again, you can use any kind of milk that you like because yeah, as you guys know, I'm a little sensitive to the lactose. <laughs> Okay, so that goes in there. This is probably going to make more than one latte, by the way. So I'm actually going to make one for myself and one for Adam too, because he really likes this as well. And now I'm going to add a quarter of a glass of water. And I'm just adding the water to dilute it. Otherwise, it's a little bit too milky for my taste. And then I'm going to add some rice malt syrup. So you can add honey as well. If you guys wanted this to be vegan friendly though, then you can use rice malt syrup or any other sweetener that you like. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. So a really nice squirt into there. Yummy. And time for the pumpkin. So I roasted this earlier and pureed it already, but you can buy ready pureed pumpkin as well. And I'm adding a third of a cup. Got my little measurements there on the inside of my grapes. <laughs> so in that goes. And this is gonna make it really nice and creamy and also sweet too, because pumpkin's nice and sweet. Now, speaking of pumpkin, mm, yummy. We're adding half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. So the sort of stuff that you find in pumpkin spice is typically cinnamon, nutmegs, nutmegs, nutmeg, cloves, ginger. So you can actually make your own if you don't have pumpkin spice. Uh, but I, yeah, I just had it in the pantry already. And then I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. So turmeric is very good for your health because it's very high in anti-inflammatory. So it is an anti-inflammatory. So if you guys haven't used turmeric before, highly recommend it. I actually take a turmeric supplement once a day because it's just so healthy and it really helps to boost your immune system too. Okay, there's all of my ingredients. I'm gonna give that just a little bit of a stir. Looks really good. And I'm going to take it over to the stove and stir it on a low flame just until it starts to simmer. Okay, fresh off the stove. That is looking really beautiful. You can see all the ingredients have mixed in really well. I'm hoping you can see that. <laughs> and now it's time to pour into my hug mug. So here's hoping I don't spill it everywhere. Oh, going well, going well, yay. Actually, these mugs are really big, so I think I only made enough for maybe one and a quarter. Sorry, Adam. Okay, now it's time to garnish this beautiful looking latte. You can see the little spices are sitting on top. So I'm actually just going to sprinkle it with a little bit more turmeric and cinnamon. And you can actually garnish it with whatever you like though. So I'm just giving it a little, little bit of a dusting. Okay, now I'm gonna add some cinnamon. And it looks really good when you get kind of messy here and just let the spices go all over the rim of the mug as well. It just looks so nice and comforting, especially for those colder mornings or cold nights. If you're sitting by the fireplace or reading a book, you can just cozy up and make yourself one of these and it's so beautiful. So how good does that look guys? I hope you guys try this at home. So rather than heading out to one of your nearest Starbucks, it's so much more beautiful when you get to make it at home. I just feel so cozy looking at it. And I think it's so healthy to add the turmeric and the pumpkin spice. It's definitely gonna warm you up from the inside. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do recreate, then send me a photo. Just upload it onto Instagram and tag me at studywithjess. 
so you should probably follow me on Instagram if you're not already guys and of course if you haven't already subscribed to my channel click my face over there and you can join in on the Jessica family and if you want to check out a previous video then you can click over there or I'll actually leave some cards up over there that are clickable and you can watch some of my recent videos as well as favorite playlists as well so have a very happy and productive week and do stay nice and warm especially if it's cooling down where you are and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another one of my videos. Bye! Of course it fogs up my glasses. I just can't help myself. <laughs>